Okay, happy Independence Day, Nigeria. You know, it's never too much to actually wish your beloved country happy Independence Day. Yes, it's never too much because it is not easy. You know, celebrating 58 years, it's worth celebrating. Yes. And, you know, yesterday... Um, if you were following on show or you watched the show yesterday, we had our guests and most of them talked about how Nigeria is a blessed country, a great country with diverse gifts, diverse talents. They also talked about entrepreneurship and that is why today is Tuesday and we will be talking about entrepreneurship. Yes, don't let me go too much. <laughs> it's still tea or coffee on High Impact Television. I am Buraola Popola. Yes, and I am with the J. Cobbs. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. You know, today's our business slash entrepreneurship day. day. Mm -hmm. And um, it was amazing how, you know, uh, we had a guest. That was the uh, Prince Adinyo Julie Pedding. Pedding. Yes, and he was talking. Uh, it was so passionate talking about Nigeria, yes. talking about how he is proud to be a Nigerian and how, you know, Nigerians are doing great things. And mm -hmm. we also had another guest before him that was talking about, you know, the fact that we have the youths in Nigeria youths. are doing mm -hmm. marvelous things in terms of uh, business-wise, you know, coming up with, you know, creative ideas. Yes, and, and, and not just putting things. the whole unemployment issue exactly. on the government, but also coming up with creativity creative mm -hmm. things that can actually contribute and you know, to in his, the economy. In his words, it was like, in their days, it was easy. You know, you come up yes. from school, you know, you're going to get a job. Mm -hmm. But now there's so many years that are unemployed and then, but they are still creative, you know, enough mm -hmm. to start up businesses and, you know, be successful at it. So Definitely. We are proud to be Nigerians. <laughs> yes, I, especially <laughs> me. Like, mm. uh, even if I, my confidence level of being a Nigerian wasn't so high. Mm. I mean, yesterday on the show, having our guests talk about mm -hmm. Nigeria, how beautiful Nigeria yes. is, and the youth, employment and all, I am really proud. Yes. To be Nigerian. Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, today we would be talking about content creation mm -hmm. in animation. Okay. And while you were growing up, what mm -hmm. was it first? Let me start. While you were growing up, what was your favorite cartoon? Hmm. Took a guess. Uh, I think for I, every lady, it could be Snow White yes, or... <laughs> And Cinderella. Yeah, Cinderella yes. story, you know. And, you know, you sing the song Cinderella, Cinderella, dressed in yellow, Cinderella. Okay. So amazing. Like, I still But like yes, it. there's something like, common you know, to now. animation cartoons, basically. It's when it comes to Cinderella, Snow White, the mm -hmm. ladies tend to always follow that. And then, they, like, you could literally differentiate. I mean, when you even want to get school things for your children, mm. you go to the market and then. Like, mm, Dora, for girls. Mm -hmm. Cinderella, for girls. girls. So, Snow White, for girls. When it comes to Ben 10, for the boys. For the guys, yeah. Like, they feel the action part mm -hmm. should be for the boys. For the and guys. then the whole pinky Cinderella and all yes. for the girls. And I think that has affected my love for colors. Because till today, till tomorrow, till forever, I was still like pink and purple. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But trust me, in Nigeria especially, like, we have people coming up with animation mm -hmm. and the feedback. Imagine um, the Lagos Comic Con 2018, the yes. 7th edition. Mm -hmm. You would not imagine the I way people shocked. turned up. Yes. yes. We, you know, when we got there at first, mm -hmm. you were like, ah, eh, cartoons, animations. Yeah. Okay, children. Are you sure adults actually Even watch there? cartoons? Mm -hmm. And maybe children. But then we got there and we realized that people came in dressed in their favorite character. Yes. And, you know, the turn up and feedback was massive. Mm. I think there were over 4,000 people in attendance yes. for the Lagos Comic Con mm -hmm. 2018. And that was really, really, was really, really amazing. amazing. Mm -hmm. And I must say that you look beautiful that day. Oh, yeah. You dressed Jasmine. Apparently, the plan was actually to dress like Cinderella, Cinderella. and mm. look for my glass. What? Sleepers, yes, but then mm, I got there to realize that someone walked up to me and told me, Ah, you actually look more like, like Jasmine. Jasmine. Like, okay, I thought <laughs> that I was going to do Cinderella and all of that. Mm. So now we would be actually, we would actually be talking about the process, the mm. work, the effort that goes into animation. It's yeah. not just about getting cartoon characters cartoon and cartoon. putting mm -hmm. them on TV. How do you? I actually hear that you, you could spend like three, five years mm. in producing. In producing animation. Yes. And 
I do not think it would actually take that long to produce a length theme movie. Mm. Yes, and I, I'm sure that there are a lot that you put that into the, the script into writing, it. creating your content, mm -hmm. developing your content, getting um, people to voice over, over yes. and all of that. Then the editing, now talk about the editing. And now I'm sure today. For to watch. And then you yes. have to think of the marketing strategy. You have mm -hmm. to think of, you know, how it's going to be accepted by the general public. Yes. And I must say that when it comes to content creation, it spans, you know, across different, you know, uh, uh, what should I call it now? Different places like marketing, Different sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, songwriting. The other day we were talking about making good music. That's last week Friday, mm -hmm. and then we were talking about how you know you have to create content for your songs. That's the lyrics and the likes, the sound, you know, and everything that come you put together. You know, that's creating content mm -hmm. to make good music. And also in animation, there is content creation. That's what you've said. Yes. Putting all all these things together, you know, to come up with an amazing animation, an amazing cartoon that people would love. Now let's take for instance, we're talking about Snow White and um, Cinderella. Mm -hmm. Now, you, we both watched it while we were young and even till the present day till today, if you watch it, you would love it. Mm -hmm. You know, that means so much work was put into it yes, for it to definitely. be able to, the, the lifespan, you know, to span up till, till this time. So uh, I really want to know how, you know, things are put together to come up, you know, with an amazing animation because I've always wondered how, you know, people actually, how this uh, cartoons and everything that I see actually put together. You, you know, know, talking about the cartoons, most times when you actually watch, it doesn't look real. Mm. But then you try to relate it to actually, um, you try to relate it to real life situation. Yes. But then it might not be real. Now the message behind Cinderella and Snow White, mm -hmm. till tomorrow sticks. Do you understand? Yeah. You can hardly call a child or call even an adult and ask about Cinderella and they won't be able to say something it's about it. Thing. There is a message being passed across mm -hmm. in every... There, there's storytelling. There's, there's something you're trying to tell mm -hmm. people out there. And I think in your content creation, your message is it's quite important. important. Yes. What you're trying to tell people, the story you're trying to tell people, what you're trying to express people mm. is quite important. I would like to be a cartoon character anyway. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what would fit into your personality right now, but then I think mm. I'll do that after the show and get back to you before okay. the end of the day. <laughs> okay, so now we have to go on a short break. True. And when we come back, we would have our guest in the studio to mm. talk about cre creating content in animation. animation. Do stay tuned. It's still tea or coffee on high impact television. <laughs> Experience the excitement at High Impact Planet Amusement Park and Resort. Our state-of-art facility offer amazing outdoor rides, play houses, indoor games, and dining facilities. Thrill your student with a lifetime memorable excursion trip. High Impact Planet. Fun just got real. Discover the magic. Every sight is so close, you can feel it. The excitement. The fear. Experience our cinemas at High Impact Planet, the place where fun just got real. This is Teal Tea or Coffee on High Impact Television. And of course, we are the first full HD TV station in Nigeria. So, Wura, we'll be talking about content creation. Yes, content creation and animation. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yesterday, actually, we talked about how movies, the mm. media, can be an effective tool to create a positive image for Nigeria. We're talking about mm -hmm. rebranding Nigeria. Okay. And so, we will be seeing a, mo a video clip now okay. um, about animation and all. And I think it's Strike, Strike Guard, yes. yes. So we will be seeing Strike Guard by Ayodele Elegba. When we come back 
from that video would explain more on creating content for animation. Do stay tuned. There is nothing you can do about it. He was my best friend. He died protecting me from the skulls his dogs. And you honor him now by wearing his war garment. How do you refer to it again? Yes, a costume. You honor him by wearing his superhero costume. You have been given this second chance to avenge the death of your friend and fake all evil that take innocent lives. You now have a chance to be a strike guard. But now you have to be a real man to do your fair maid. Yes, you have to ginger your love swagger. I'm sure you don't want to lose her too, do you? No, I don't want to lose her too. Peter died because of my love for her. He means the world to me now. I have to keep it. You have to tread softly, boy. She has that dreaded look. What look? So that was Strike God. An amazing, amazing animation, I must say. Very amazing. Definitely, like, very, very amazing. <laughs> You know, talking, looking at the Lekki Bridge, mm -hmm. looking at Lagos and Lad, talking about Lagos, it was really nice. And you know, yesterday we were talking about how we could rebrand re and put Nigeria mm -hmm. in a positive image. These are things it's whereby start, yes. you can actually change the mindset of people, people. out there about Nigeria. Mm. Mm -hmm. And yes, that was by Ayodele Elegba. Elegba, yes. And amazingly, we have him in, in the, the studio, studio <laughs> here with us. We have Ayodele Elegba, the MVC of Spoof animation mm -hmm. you're welcome to the show yeah, good morning thanks for having me thanks for having me yeah. good morning. okay right. so i was you know, i was asking her before the show i was like animation cartoons is there a difference, difference. or is, there, mm -hmm. is it the same thing uh well it's um i, I would say animation is the process where you get cartoons mm -hmm. um cartoons are like the byproduct of animation because mm -hmm. you can actually use animation for a whole number of things for mm -hmm. commercials, for jingles, for um, for news, you know, and all manner of stuff. So, okay. cartoons are like the the ones we watch on TV, you know, packaged, you know, for the TV uh, consumer. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, what is the idea of content creation in animation? Oh well, content creation in animation is basically like content creation for TV or TV. for any other. Um, Mid medium, you know. Okay. Um, it's about getting ideas, getting um, the right kind of content that can fit animation. Not every content would go well animated. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some content that are better shot live action, and there are some content that are better shot in animation. So, um, content for animation means you are looking for content that have that exaggeration, has that fun, that humor, that only animation can actually put out there. And that's why sometimes you see some people do stuff that are animated, but does, they do not have that kind of punch that, um, you know, maximizing animation for that product. Mm -hmm. you know, so you have to have a, a story or a content that uh, animation can actually sell very well and make, um, can, can actually tell the story very well with animation, vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis okay. live action. Live action. Okay, so before we move deep into creating content in animation. Mm -hmm. What exactly is animation? Okay, animation, um, it's simply giving life to um, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, different uh, various arms of animation. We have mm -hmm. the 3D animation, 2D mm -hmm. animation, we have claymation, we have um, so many types of animation, okay? okay? So it's animation, basically it's giving life to inanimate objects, mm -hmm. either drawn or um, clay, or just moving this flower vase, mm -hmm. animating it. So 
that's basically animation. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I do 2D animation, mm -hmm. which is what we've just seen. Mm -hmm. And it's the drawing of several images in successions to actually create that illusion of movement on mm -hmm. screen. Okay, you know, we just watched Strike Guard, yes, and, you know, behind every animation, there is a message you're trying to pass across. So what was the concept behind Strike Guard? Okay, well, Strike Guard for me was, um, I just wanted to reenact my um, um, days in, um, in, in my polytechnic, Yabatech, then. Okay. Um, you know, I was a student then, you know, we had issues of uh, relationship, love, the struggle of university campus and mm -hmm. stuff. So I, I, I tried to just, I wanted to see Africa on screen because one thing that we have right now is we do not have enough um, African portrayal on animated content. So mm -hmm. I was like, how do we bring what's happening in Lagos, Nigeria on the big screen? You know, and that's, that's what spawned um, uh, Strike Guard, which was a comic book I did. Mm -hmm. I now adapted it into an animated mm -hmm. series. Wow. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing comic books? I've been doing comic, <laughs> I've been doing comic books for, I began, my first comic book came out in 1999. Wow. Wow. So, as far back as 1999. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my first comic book came out in 1999 with a, a bunch of friends in school then. Okay. And um, yeah, so I've been doing it since then, yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> How amazing. Okay, so you were mentioning the types of, you know, animation earlier on. Can you elaborate more on types of animation and, if possible, explain it to us? Okay. Uh, we have 2D animation, okay. like the one we've watched. Yes. Um, I'm sure we've seen um, Tom and Jerry, mm -hmm. Strike Guard. Any animation that is, like, flat, doesn't have depth, is actually 2D animation, 2D. mostly hand-drawn. Okay. Okay, then we have 3D animation. 3D animation has depth, mm. you know, um, meaning it looks almost realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of it has depth, you know, it's usually computer driven, mm. not hand driven, it's usually okay. um, done on computer. We have claymation, which is um, using clay. I don't know if you've seen um, some animation whereby the, it's just clay, but the clay moves like Pingu. If you've seen Pingu, it's mm -hmm. like, that's claymation. So, we have a number of them like that. There are so many versions. So if you could just move anything and let it move, it's still under, you know, animation. animation. Okay, yeah. so what are the basic steps and process you have to take in animation, creating animation? Okay, um, first of all, you need a great idea. You need a, you need a great idea. Um, one of my animation was shown in France. Um, it's called Era Daddy. Wow, France, we're yeah, going global at now. NNC, France. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's it, you know, animation can give us that export that we need mm -hmm. in this country. Um, so the first thing you need is you need a good idea. Era Daddy was, is, is a story about a dysfunctional family, a Nigerian dysfunctional family, um, and how they relate with their day-to-day -day societal issues in, the, in society. You know, so you have an idea, you take the idea and you turn it into what we call a script. You get the script, whether it's a 30 minute script, 10 minute script, five minute script, then after that, you turn it on a storyboard. Once you have the storyboard, the storyboard gives an idea of how the animation will look like. Look like. Once you have the storyboard, you move into the animatic phase. Because most times, your executive producer wants to see how long the animation will look like, uh, how good it will look like, the sound effects and all that. So an animatics is like a storyboard cut up with sounds, voices, and stuff, mm -hmm. just to let you have an idea of what the animation will look like without mm -hmm. actual animation, animation. Mm -hmm. then after the animatics you go straight into animation then you go into post-production and then you go into editing and then you push it out but in there somewhere you have the voice over recordings as well mm -hmm. so yeah that's that's just the process in summary amazing mm -hmm. so how long does it take you know to come up in terms of content creation to the final result editing, of an editing and over. All? how long does it take well animation is a is a number is a, is a number game okay the more people you have the faster you can finish your animation. Mm -hmm. For example, in spoof animation, we have over 20 animators that work with us. So we are able to churn out animations very fast. And that's why people actually reach out to us and say, look, let's do animation together. Because um, we, we could churn out a one minute animation in let's say probably a week, mm. in a week or two. Just one minute. Yeah, just mm. one minute. So it's, it's that, um, it's that um, time consuming, you know, sometimes. So, yeah, so that's like how, how long it takes to, but some take longer, some take shorter, depending on your workforce 
and the equipment that you are using. Actually, because I was going to mention that um, I've heard people say it, it could take like three years, mm -hmm. you know, to yeah. come up with an yeah. animation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about voiceover people now. You mentioned earlier on that you have to have a great idea first. Mm -hmm. You have to have a fantastic idea. And I think mm -hmm. to push that drive, you also need... Um, the great voices and voices that will be able to blend in mm -hmm. with the characters. And push it. Yes, it, with the characters you put in place. So now, how do you recruit and get you know voices that can actually fit into what you want in the character? Okay, well, I, I meet people every day that say, "Look, I want to voice animation. I can okay. act. I want to voice animation." Mm. But, but the truth is, uh, voicing for animation and acting, they are a bit different. Mm -hmm. You know, unlike when you are doing live action, people mm -hmm. can see you move, people can see your hand gestures, mm -hmm. people can actually um, get meaning from your movements. However, in animation, we don't see you. Mm -hmm. So your voice needs to be visible. We need mm -hmm. to be able to imagine that this is what your voice is actually doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, in the past, I would call for an audition and then I'll have a long queue, 200, 300 people on the queue and we'll spend like two days, three days auditioning them. So we stopped because I don't want to die young. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, it can be very, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> because everybody comes around, mm -hmm. people who can act, people who don't know how to act, uh, everybody just yes. comes in. Because everybody feels, you know, it's cartoon. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It can't be that difficult, mm -hmm. you know. So, but what we do now is we, we, we just send a, a notice out and we ask people okay. to send in their voice you know, mm -hmm. doing a monologue of whatever they want to do, we give them like a cue for the roles that we right. want to be played. Okay. And then you send in your voice through a voice note. Then we listen to your voice, see the voice texture, see how well your voice, I'll close my eyes and I'm imagining Imagine. you and imagining who this person is. Because if you are trying to create a fat person, for example, you know, the voice will sound differently from a skinny person. Mm -hmm. if, you want to, if you want to cast a thug, the voice will they sound do, differently yes. from somebody who's in, in a university or secondary school. Mm -hmm. Now, for people casting young uh, kids, people always ask me this question, how do you get the kids to perform? Yes, you know, I was going to mention yeah. that yeah. aside the adult, you know, <laughs> to get children yeah. to be stable mm -hmm. and then, you so know, let, let me Let me give voice. you a trick. <laughs> okay. It's an industry trick. It's an okay. industry trick. <laughs> we use ladies for... Mm. Yeah, for use, children. Yeah, for children, boys. It tends to have why, baby why? voice. Because, mm. you know, um, females tend to have like that soft, voice. soft baby voice. Okay, in a situation where you actually have action and then you need a voice that can actually be very... Yeah, it, you still it, use a the grown-up lady will be able to read the script. Mm. Her diction will be okay. She okay. can add lip and do whatever she needs to do just to make sure the kid make looks sure. like a kid. It's acting anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't actually see you, so it's just the voice they hear. By the time we slam in the drawings, nobody knows better. Mm, okay. Wow. So that, that's a trick. So that has really helped us to do more kids' content because what I realized is that kids' content actually move more in the market than adult-oriented content. True, true. Yeah. That should take we talked about that question. <laughs> we actually talked you know about that, that When it comes to cartoons, animations, popular opinion is that it's for children. Mm -hmm. So is, that, is it true that when it comes to cartoons, it's just streamlined to children, children. and adults don't get to have interest in it? Um, I've been fortunate to travel around the world, mm -hmm. and um, what I've realized is adults tend to want to watch news. <laughs> they want to watch the APC, <laughs> you know, gubernatorial, whatever. Mm -hmm. They want to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Adults like serious, serious things, mm -hmm. you know. There, is, there are adult um, animation content, mm -hmm. But, you know, when you travel out, in fact, when you look at most TV stations, even here in Nigeria, you see more of child-friendly animation. animation. So, commercial-wise, um, it may be easier to make a kid-friendly animation than mm. try to do a adult animated content. For example, the animation I showed in France was a family-oriented animation. Mm -hmm. But, however, it, it took a long time to get funding, mm -hmm. you know, because it felt... Mm, these are adults. It's not really going to flow well with kids mm. because kids' animation move fast. People fast tend people. to purchase kids' animation faster mm -hmm. than, mm. you know, adult-oriented Okay, uh, so cartoons. most times when you are creating content for animation, your target audience are children. Yes. Mm. If you want to um, be commercial, you want to make money very fast. But if, but if you have, like, a social um, issue you want to talk about, 
maybe like HIV AIDS or okay. Ebola. Mm -hmm. Then you are talking to the adults now. So you could actually now say, okay, let's push it. For example, this same animation, we ended up repackaging it to actually talk about health issues. Mm. Sex, um, unprotected sex, um, uh, peer pressure, mm -hmm. things like that. Because now there are adult themes that I want to talk about. So we could actually use that animation to talk about Okay, those, themes. those themes. So you could use the animation to actually talk about um, issues happening In around society. society. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so uh, what triggers, or let me say, what uh, factor inspires your content ideas and animation? Uh, a lot of factors. For example, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at both of you, and I'm like, hmm... I could create a character from her face. You she know? actually, actually, at the beginning of the show, she she told. Oh really? She said yes. she mentioned it that she actually wants to be. You know, a, I, I like her glasses. Character. I could exaggerate it, mm. make it more flattened than her cheeks. You know, okay. so things like that inspire me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I see a character. I see a human being. I see a, a live human being. I say, look, mm -hmm. I can make out something from something. that. Society inspires me. Issues inspires me. For example, there's a lot of talk about uh, feminism mm, um, and true. gender disbalance. You know, these, are, these are the things that um, endear me to tell stories. Yes. You know? And even when you're doing stuff for kids, you need to put in some adult themes in there mm -hmm. so that at least the kids can actually understand, understand these things as they grow up as well. So life generally inspires me. I see things around me are like, okay, what, what can I do? How can I tell a story? Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that we do as animators is also do short films. Mm -hmm. Like we're working on a short film, for example, that talks about you liking yourself. Self. You liking yourself, you know. Self-love. Yeah, mm -hmm. self-love. You know, these are issues that are out there that we need to talk about. And these are what inspires me to mm -hmm. tell these stories. Wow. Okay. Okay. Very amazing. I'm yeah, looking forward to the part where I get to be a cartoon character. He already voicing. mentioned that he would create one for you. Don't worry. <laughs> yes. So watch out on live TV. You've said it. This idea comes a cartoon character. All right. So we'll be listening to Ayodele Elegba, CEO of Animation. But we need to go on a break. But please do stay glued to tea or coffee because the conversation continues after this short break. Stay glued. <laughs> Walking into comfort in a safe environment is every family's dream. At High Impact Planet Resort, our fully furnished service apartment is a home away from home. Amazing views right in your luxurious world. Work out to keep fit for an amazing buddy at the gym. Get affordable groceries and personal care items at the supermarket. Feel relaxed and beautify yourself at the fully equipped spa. High Impact Planet. Fun just got real. home planet Earth faced its darkest days. Our star, the sun, began to fail, leading to a series of solar waves that threatened to wipe us all out. But we brought this fate upon ourselves. It was the climax of the Third World War that soon became our Armageddon. 
man's greed for power and control began it all. It was a war of retaliation. Sadly, death. Barely months into the war, half of mankind was lost. Hate burned deeply. No one was ready to cease fire. In the midst of the Holocaust came the greatest evil that befell the solar system. A torpedo was fired. It became a rare explosive chemical so intense. Welcome back, it's to Tea or Coffee on High Impact Television. And you just watched another amazing anim animation from Ayodele Elegba. He's still in the studio here with us. Yes, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, <coffee>. yeah, definitely. <laughs> you do not have a choice on Tea or Coffee. <laughs> okay, so we w we've been talking about content creation and animation. Today is Tuesday and we usually talk about business entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Now, let, you know, in every business, profit making is something that is key yes. aside you knowing your target audience of mm -hmm. which we've talked about target sure. audience aside target audience your profit profit making is also quite important in business so now how do you do the costing because looking at voyager i'm sure mm -hmm. <laughs> that wasn't you didn't just sleep and wake up and then exactly. it's out there you obviously it. put in effort mm -hmm. and money now what's the cost of putting an animation together and how do you balance the cost in such a way that you also make the profit you are meant to do? Well, I, Nigeria is quite tough running any business and uh, we, we, as a company, we face all the other problems every other studio, every, any other company faces in terms of power, paying salaries, you know, and all that. But however, I am an optimist. I don't like looking at things from the negative side. side. I, I feel animation is just like any other business that you need to put in the work, put in the effort. Um, it's, it's, it's catching on because many people now are getting to understand the importance of um, having content. Mm -hmm. Lots of TV stations are now asking for content. You know, currently we do animation for some TV stations already. Okay. And um, even though the money is not up there, and that's why we, we are looking at animation as a foreign export now in terms of getting our clients from outside of Nigeria, mm -hmm. where they pay in dollars or pay in euros, and that's where the real money comes from. Mm. Because a minute of animation in Europe is about um, $10,000. Mm. You know, so imagine if that foreign exchange mm. comes into my pocket, you know, mm -hmm. what you do. You know, so what we are trying to do now is trying to see how we can break away from just servicing Nigerian companies who may not be able to afford it because animation is quite expensive. I understand, but, but I think if, um, you know, we can work on the acceptance level mm -hmm. and, you know, feedback from Nigerians, creating more awareness, what do you think? No, the, the, truth, is, the, truth, the truth is that a, a regular TV station here cannot even afford to pay for it because if you, if you weigh the cost of making an animation mm -hmm. and doing live action, you'd rather just pack some people together and do... Right. Do animation, so people actually run away from it because they feel it's expensive. They feel, if, for, for example, I was talking to somebody about doing a jingle, an animated jingle, mm -hmm. and when I gave him the price, it was like, ah, no, I rather just go and put a girl and a boy mm -hmm. in a room and shoot my stuff for like half the price, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, I, I think we need to get to the point whereby our 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 naira, let me use that word, would be uh, good enough to compete very, very well with this price that we have. Mm -hmm. but, but right now, it's quite difficult. It's quite expensive for, for an average, mm -hmm. you Don't know. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. We are. So it's yeah. little, but, but what we have tried to do is we've tried to make it as cheap as possible. As possible. Uh, you know, as affordable as possible for um, anyone to say, look, let's jump yes. in and start doing something. Mm -hmm. And we also do partnerships in terms of, oh, you have an idea. Mm -hmm. Don't bring all the money. We'll bring a part of the money, you bring a part of the money. Come when together. we sell it, we make, you know, it's called co-production. So we do co-productions as well. So mm -hmm. just to make more content come out there. Okay. So talking about costs, just to, you tell us, to create an animation, like how much? To create animation at the level that we create, mm -hmm. because we try to pride ourselves as the best so far in 2D animation in Nigeria. Okay. Um, we, we charge roughly between... Um, mm -hmm. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I think the, the figure is... Uh, mm. I, I would say that I would like to describe first the idea before we give a quote. I, I don't want to okay. give a quote that is not... Um, you know, that might scare, <laughs> yeah, might scare you, anyone. Just give us a range so we have an idea. Mm -hmm. A range. Okay, well, in, in Naira, it's between 5,000 Naira to about 15,000 Naira per second. Per mm. second. Oh. Okay. That's, that's second. great. <laughs> Uh, that, that's fine. Okay, now <laughs> let you know it's still ringing in my head. <laughs> okay, you mentioned that um, in Nigeria that um, a lot of people feel animation is too expensive. You know they can't afford it. Now, aside um, that, because we know it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. Aside that, what other challenges do you face as an animator? Um, manpower, skill, mm -hmm. human resource. It's, it's a challenge because not everybody can do animation at the standard that we want to do animation. And that's why we are embarking on a campaign very soon. We're trying to move to a, a bigger office. And what we're trying to do is we want to go into secondary schools and start training. Once you finish secondary school, you're waiting to get to university. In that one year period, we can train you on animation. And then you can start working in animation as, as fast as you can. In three months, we can get you started. You can start working animation at that age because we believe that age you're still young. Your, your mind is still creative and all that. Um, so that's 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 for me. That's one of the huge, huge challenges I have mm -hmm. faced. The other challenge I would say is um, getting clients, get international clients to actually believe that Nigeria has the capacity to actually do this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, because of a lot of because Nigeria has been branded very negatively, you know, abroad. You know, it's, it's quite difficult to convince someone to say, look, I'm genuine. I can do this thing at this time, you know. Are you sure? They keep on asking, are you sure you can I'm do sure. it? You know, are you sure? You know, it, and for them, it's like, it's too cheap. Are you sure you can do it at that price? You know, you are shouting, it's expensive. But mm -hmm. them, it's like, it's too cheap. It's too cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I have to be careful to not try and satisfy my local um, consumers and mm -hmm. then not get the... So that's the challenge. Rebranding Nigeria, it's another challenge I have to do. Every, every time I travel... I try to rebrand Nigeria. Nigeria. I try to tell people, look, Nigeria, we are good people. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is bad, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though in America, some people are bad. Sure. Not everybody is bad. There are good people in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them. You know, this particular you know. statement you mm. made, that not the fact that one person or one egg doesn't yeah, mean that... Yeah, spoils the bunch, yeah. Exactly. Every other person is bad, you yeah. know. Yeah. We had um, Prince Adeo, you mentioned yes, that exact that statement yesterday. yesterday because mm -hmm. we talked about rebranding Nigeria yesterday. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, 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 for me... The other challenges are just generic in terms of, hey, generator has gone off, yee. <laughs> you, know, you are rendering something, generator goes off, ah, you are running up and down, trying mm -hmm. to switch on power. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of, you know, um, the, the traffic, it's just traffic, people mm -hmm. coming to work late, late, you know, you have to sleep over in the office. These are challenges that naturally you won't have faced in other developed countries, you know, mm -hmm. where you have the train, the tube that takes you from one place to the other. Mm -hmm. You know, so you see that you have more downtime trying to do what you love to do, to do. you know. And then I think one other challenge is actually accessing funding, mm -hmm. getting loans from banks. It's quite, quite very, very difficult, you know, for a young company like mine to access such loans. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we need to bring down the digits, you know, it's probably one digit, you know, um, mm -hmm interest rates, whatever, so that we could actually have access to these loans and give a longer gap. For example, if I'm doing an animated movie, it would take me like two or three years to complete the movie. The movie. How many banks would wait two or three years to, to get their to money, get back. Their to money, get back. money back? But, but the truth is, like, if you can wait for me two or three years, you make your money back. Mm -hmm. You make even more than Time you've ever stopping. wanted. Mm -hmm. But investors don't want to wait. Banks don't want to give you the money. Mm -hmm. So you're left with struggling and trying to like, make the money you know, from, from yourself or mm -hmm. from family or wherever you can get it from. Okay, you know, talking about investing and investors mm -hmm. now, before you put your money into something and you invest in something, you need to know what you are going into. True. So do you think investing in animation would help the growth of Nigeria's Nigeria. economy? And it would, do you think animation is actually quite good enough and stable mm -hmm. enough in Nigeria for people to invest Investing. their money in it? The, the Philippine economy has developed at, on the back of animation. Mm. Yes. Now you have companies like Disney, Marvel, you bringing would, their animation okay. down to Are the Are you Philippine. an ambassador for them? Okay, I think I'm about to credit you. <laughs> I'm about to debit your account now. For? For just mentioning um, 
Disney and... <laughs> no, they are everywhere. You can't do without them. Mm. Their but films then, are everywhere. Everybody knows them. But then <laughs> you, like it, you are promoting them on High Impact TV and then you'd have to pay. Uh, no, well... <laughs> <laughs> Well, what, well, the truth is this, that the economy is growing on the back of these things. Mm -hmm. The earlier we open Nigeria up to the rest of the world, imagine if a company like mine is making animation for $10,000 or euros per minute. Do you know what that would do to the economy? Do you know how many people I can employ? You know, so there is money in this thing. Mm -hmm. And the truth is that we have the manpower, or sorry, we have the creativity, we have the tools to actually do these things. But we just need to open it more, train more people, get more people involved. And then we'll see people like those people you don't want me to mention coming to Nigeria, Nigeria. and building mm -hmm. actual studios here mm -hmm. that will actually train all the facilities will be there. They are ready, they have the money. And they're looking for places to invest in. Investing. Into. So why not why just open Nigeria up and let people come in and invest? Yeah. It's, 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 it's no-brainer. It makes money. There's lots and lots of money to be made out there. Mm. And we need to bring some of them bring in. Them in. You know, talking about funding, investing, you talk about co-producing. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, how else can you get funds, you know, to, uh, in terms of creating content for content. animation, producing an animation? Mm, apart from going to back your rich uncle. <laughs> 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 uh, well, the, the other way is where any other business sources mm -hmm. for their funds, I mm -hmm. guess. You know, you just have to just banks. be creative, banks. Mm -hmm. um, I've been fortunate to have um, been able to have worked a bit to raise some capital to start my own business. And I've been fortunate also to, um, to be able to get clients that actually okay. sustain the business. I have a lot of foreign clients which actually sustains my business. So most of my business is not in Nigeria. Nigeria. You know, so... So that's the way I've been able to, and hopefully um, we'll keep getting better, we'll keep getting that uh, recognition outside of this country, and then maybe the foreign, more foreign currency will come in. You know, okay. we're talking about recognition. Mm -hmm. How has the acceptance been in Nigeria? In Nigeria. Like, since you've been releasing, you used to solve voyage, and how has, you know, the acceptance The, the acceptance has been awesome. You, you, you get people like, ah, ayo, man, What's done in Nigeria? I can't believe it. You guys are mm. awesome. In fact, you guys are the best. You know, they've I've been looking at animation so far. And you guys do it right. You guys do it like Disney does it. You guys do it like all these people do it, and that's encouraging. Mm. Apart from that, we've gotten uh, recognitions abroad. Mm. Um, recently, in South Africa, we won the Digital Lab Africa competition where we won some money, which has given us the opportunity to travel all over the world. You know, mm. talking about animation. So. Mm. When there is quality, when there is value, people recognize it. Mm. And that's what we stand for. We, we try to make quality animation that mm. can cross across Nigeria, Nigeria, go to anywhere in the world, and it will still be animation that you love. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> we've talked about content creation and animation. Now, um, is there a difference between creating content and script writing in animation? As opposed to live action? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, well... The, like I said, first of all, the content must be animated. Mm -hmm. Drama is not good for animation. You mm -hmm. can't be doing drama in animation. Okay. You have to have lots of action, lots of screaming, lots of jumping, lots of fighting, stuff that's, you know, animated. Then secondly, a animation script is more detailed than a live action script. For example, mm -hmm. you have to explain everything in an animation script. You need to give directions of what you want in an animation script, or like a live action that you mm -hmm. give the director the, mm -hmm. the right to do all that. So that's, that's the difference majorly between an animation script and okay. a live action script. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> you know, recently uh, you had the seventh edition of Lagos Comic Con 2018. Mm -hmm. We were there live at the <laughs> event, you know. Yeah. And we saw different people come out to represent their favorite characters mm -hmm. in cartoons. And it was really amazing. amazing. In the total attendance from what I, you know, because yeah. I had to ask and research, yeah. I heard that over 4,000 people were yeah. in attendance yeah. that day. Yeah. So I, that first of all, that is where the acceptance level comes in. Yeah. I think a lot of people in Nigeria now are beginning to pay attention, attention yeah. to yeah. cartoons yeah. and animations. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 
we, we don't, I don't think they are now streamlining just to children, children alone. Even yes. adults have yeah. their favorite cartoon characters. Yeah. You find them watching and, you know, yeah. supporting now. Yeah. So, first of all, I would like to know what was actually the idea behind Lagos Comic Con 2018? Because you also, you, you, you were live yeah. at the event. Yeah. I saw your works and all. Yeah. So, now, what was the idea behind Comic Con 2018? Okay, uh, by God's grace, I'm the founder of Lagos Comic Con. Mm -hmm. okay. I began it seven years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I began it because I didn't see many people like me. <laughs> I didn't see many people who were open about being geeks, open about loving animation, open mm -hmm. about loving comic books, open about loving games and stuff. And I like to be open about what I do. I'm mm -hmm. proud of what I do. Yeah. So I said, what can I do? Can, can we have like a, an event that brings people together mm -hmm. to talk about animation, talk about gaming? Let's, let's discuss. Let's see ourselves. Let's, let's be proud of ourselves. Let's celebrate ourselves. And we began seven, year, seven years ago with 300 people in attendance. And it has mm -hmm. grown mm -hmm. over the seven years to about 4,500 people. And um, it's, it's basically creating a hub where media people like yourself can mm -hmm. come and say, yay, you mean these things are real in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. You mean there's a place like this, so much energy. Nobody has come to Comic Con and they've said, look, the energy is awesome, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Papa, it's wow. You, <laughs> you know, know, I actually tried to represent my um, favorite cartoon character. Which I is... actually wanted to represent Cinderella. And getting there, someone brought up something different. She told me before yeah. leaving here that Jasmine, I was arguing with her that no. <laughs> Cinderella, you see. And Jasmine and, will be good on you. Oh, yeah, I know, right? And I got, there, <laughs> I got there to actually realize that, uh, okay, I'm representing something else, Jasmine, and I just had to admit to like, fine, okay, no problem. That is what it is, you know? Yeah. But I was really amazed and mm -hmm. I was impressed. It was my first time attending, you know, the Lagos yeah. Comic Con. Yeah. And, you know, I just went there. She was all dressed up, you yeah. know, in a yeah. cartoon character. Like, mm, yeah. I'm going to be a tomboy. That's my cartoon character. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. That's actually another you know, character. Yeah. And then it was... Amazing! I saw uh, the, the the part where you know they were taking um, pic the, the pictures, pictures yeah, they you know, pictures, they were games, the people were interacting. Gamers, yeah. You know, I saw cartoons that I had never seen before. Yeah. I was amazed. <laughs> you know, so I want to say thumbs up. It's a, it's you know. It's a good idea. Yeah. You know, someone even went traditional about it. Yeah, and yeah that was a Shongo. 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 Yes, I saw yeah. Shongo. He was, was actually scared. looking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he was looking <laughs> like, like yes, he yeah. was looking like Shongo. You know, I had to ask him, are you going to bring Gafa? Yes, I know. Exactly. That and, and, <laughs> and you know, that's what we are trying to also do. We are trying to say, look, we have this local content here mm -hmm. in Nigeria. We, we, yes, we've seen all the foreign cartoons. I don't want to mention names. You know, we've seen all the foreign cartoons, mm. but. We can have our own cartoons. We can mm -hmm. have our own characters that we love that we can dress up as. Yeah, we yeah. don't need to dress up like Jasmine anymore. Mm -hmm. We can dress up like a Moremi mm -hmm. or a Shongu yeah. Yeah. or a Strike Guard or whatever, you know, depending on what we love. But mm. it should be African. It should be black. Let's celebrate the black skin. Let's yeah. celebrate the black consciousness. Mm. That's the only thing we've got. And that's the only way even those in the West can respect can us. Can respect mm. us, definitely. So now, you have seen, you've started something great. But now, let's see. Let, let, me, let me ask you where you see animation in the next, let's say, five years thereabouts. What do you, what are you anticipating? What do you expect to see? I see... In Nigeria now. In Niger this, this, this is my goal. Okay. And for me, it's my five-year goal. Mm. I see a, a time where anyone that can draw will leave secondary school and can get a job in animation. Hmm. And I'm pushing, that's one of my goals. You leave secondary school, you can draw. You leave secondary school, you start making money. Hmm. And, and that's, that's the future. I see a future we have lots and loads of animation studios in Nigeria, okay. not just in Lagos, maybe in Ogun State, Kaduna, Abuja. So you don't need to come to Lagos to even do animation. It's going to be everywhere because everyone can draw anywhere. You know? So that's the goal. And I'm calling all my you know, animation friends out there. Let's, let's do it together. I think it's possible. Hmm. I think it's, if you can create a source of livelihood for these young people to take care of... You know, for example, in my studio, I have very young people in my studio, and many of them, for them, they're like breadwinners of some sorts, you know, even for their family, just because, of, because they know how to draw, mm -hmm. just because they're in animation. So imagine if we could expand that, create more jobs for people, you know, and give them something to make money by, and then they are proud that this is what their talent is actually mm -hmm. is, without them going very away from what God has actually given, given them as them their as talent. talent. Hmm. So that's my dream. Mm. I, I have a dream. I, yes. <laughs> I mean, 
no. Now I wish I knew how to draw. No, I, this, I am no longer wishing. No. You are the, you're the wisher right now. I'm going to I'm going to learn as soon as we're done. Draw. Yes. So we can even have our just, characters. You know, back then in secondary school, like everyone can draw. Once yeah. you can just draw a head. Um, yeah. a thin line, line. But, but, but the truth is that we, <laughs> some of us lost it because mm. our parents told us there's no money in this thing. You're wasting your life. Mm -hmm. There is money the in mindset. it. There's money in mm. it. You can you can really make some good out of it. You, mm -hmm. you can. True. People people from out of the, they, they, they look for storyboard artists, look for artists every time to do stuff for them. So why 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 can't we be? Why can't we do that? You know, that? if I've seen someone to inspire me, probably um, you know, it you reminds know. Me, it reminds me of football. You know, there was a time. Parents didn't want their children to play to football. Play football. Mm -hmm. But now, everybody's now, mm -hmm. everyone playing is now. Pushing. <laughs> now I'm playing, you know? Do it. And, and I see animation gets to that level as definitely, well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Especially, I am more particular about rebranding the rebranding the image of Nigeria. Yeah. Out there. You know, it is high time, like, it's actually time for it's us time. to start pushing ourselves yes, out there time. in yeah. the positive light. Yeah. Enough of people come to tell our stories our to stories. us yes. and we are having to yeah. adapt to whatever they're telling us. We yeah. also need to tell our stories. They True. need to know who we who we are. Yeah. They need to know uh, what we represent, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. I totally support you, you know. It's amazing. Starting from yesterday, listening to our guest talk mm -hmm. and now you talking, being so passionate about animation mm -hmm. and, you know, wanting the world to see that, yes, we have talent in Nigeria, Definitely. you know, and then we are doing great and exceptional things here. I... I'm so I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so proud to be in Nigeria right now. And but then yes. I'm going to take you up on having my cartoon character. Yes, we are working on it. And yes, parents, make sure <laughs> make sure that you do not. They, like he said, there's mm. money in this animation thing. Let your child. If you yes, notice true. the talent the in talent. your child, mm. grow the talent. Because you never can tell what that talent is going to do in changing the society True. or the environment around you. Like he mentioned that once you um, discover a talent and you're able to groom it up, you know, it helps to reduce unemployment. We can't keep talking about unemployment, yeah. unemployment, unemployment. and we mm -hmm. ourselves are not doing, doing anything, anything about it. So it's high time that you promote mm. the gift of your child. So what would be your last word or your advice yes. for... Youths out, youth out there watching. Um, my advice is to the youths, find a mentor. Mm. Find a mentor. For me, I'm open to mentor any young person out there who would want to, to learn um, for almost for free. You know, mm. if you really want to learn animation and you're in my domain space, why not? Look for a mentor. I realize that the problem we have in this country is because we do not have uh, mentors to take us through the ropes of life. Mm -hmm. Many of us fall and fall and fall. We make mistakes. If you have a mentor, a mentor would would not allow you to make the mistakes he, he has already made. made. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think we could move faster if we have mentors. So okay. look for a mentor. Don't give up. Believe in your dreams. Keep at it. Uh, there's nothing you cannot achieve. You know, if you have a dream and you're passionate about it, just go for it. Um, you would make it and yeah. you'll succeed. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very so much, Adele Legba, for coming to the show today. Mm -hmm. And yes, we can't forget to give you our big yes. gift. Ah. <laughs> Thank you on behalf of High Impact, High Impact TV, TV crew. Thank you, thank you. Thank appreciate you, thank you, your coming. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank thank you, you. so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to the show today. Mm -hmm. And hopefully next time when we call you, you're obliged. Sure. Yes. It's, it's been fun being with <laughs> you guys yes, talking about Thank animation. you so much. Okay, that's all we can take on the show today. But be sure to join us tomorrow. Tomorrow is our Wellness Wednesday. Yes, yes. Wellness and, Wednesday. And uh, will be joining us. So please, stay glued to High Impact TV. And of course, the media special will be coming right about 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So please, stay glued to, t to High Impact <laughs> yes, TV. TV. And of course, you'll be watching Tea or Coffee. Join us same time, same station tomorrow for another exciting edition. Mm -hmm. My name is Mudupe Jacobs. And I am Hurao Popola. Do enjoy Hi. the rest of your day. <laughs>